Welcome to the tutorial for the Core Space Core game. Here it is, and inside you will find a big block of cardboard, and it looks like this. Beautiful game components on one side, lovely terrain on the other side, and lots of stuff sandwiched in between. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to talk you through to make sure that you know how to assemble the terrain elements of the Core Space game. Let's dive in. So here we have your core space block of card goodness. Uh, I'm just going to pop this open. Okay, so first of all, you can see I've got um, two shipboards here. Um, and actually on top, we've got all of the laminated sheets. All of these items here uh, are explained in the uh, core rule book in, in more than enough detail. So, but the tutorials are really needed for the terrain items. And in this bot, in this block of card here, you're basically going to get three different types of sheets. The biggest uh, sheet is going, to, or the, mo the one you've got the most quantity of, um, is going to be your walls, first of all. Okay, so um, on here you've got walls, a few signs, a couple of struts. The walls is really simple when you're building um, uh, your core space terrain. So let's move that out of the way. If I just pop out a wall to show you, in fact, I'll just very quickly pop out all of these. Do, 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 do. Da, da. Okay. So you end up with various walls of styles and some of these walls have got windows in them. You can pop the windows in, um, uh, sorry, pop the windows out or you can leave the windows in. That's totally up to you. Um, and I just keep mine bundled together so that I can open and close doors and have walls with them. Windows can be smashed and removed and so on and so forth uh, and then put back in. Okay, but when you're assembling um, walls, um, it's really simple. You have your clips. Um, you, you get a couple of bags of clips that come with your terrain. There you go. Um, that's not all of them, obviously. Um, and then um, it's just a case of basically popping your clips in here, like so. And I'll assemble a wall like that, and a wall like that. And let's have a door over here. So that's like that. Uh, and we can open and close this little door here. You can have that in or out. And you literally just build your terrain in this particular way. And you can make all sorts of cool and crazy configurations. Okay, so that's the walls. That's really, really simple. Um, on here, uh, you will also notice things like the struts. Okay, so I'll just pop one of these off as an example, and you will see that inside you've got um, some little tiny bits like that which pop out to give you even better detail. Um, and if you've got a wall like that, you can add these kind of struts on for detail in the top like that, and you can line a wall with them. It looks really, really cool. Equally, you've got things like signage here. So if I pop a sign off here or this one here, you will see that you can also hang signs onto the top of the walls as well, like that. And you can have it sort of above a door, like that. Um, and you really get this um, kind of, it kind of really brings everything to life. Um, as far as the wall sheet's concerned, that's really all you need to know. You'll get three of those and that will build everything that you need. Okay, the next sheet um, would be, uh, that we would cover, would be this sheet here. Okay, girders and walls. This gives you some more, uh, some more of certain styles of walls. So you get more of this wall. You also get some new kinds of cool walls like this kind of pipe entrance. You end up with um, you know, a really cool entrance with all pipes and bits and pieces. There's a larger version of that, but ultimately these are still walls that just need you to clip everything together and gives your set all of the different variety that you might need. Okay, um, also on this sheet though, including this bit that come here, that come out of uh, the entrance wall, <clears throat> you've got a half wall here, and you've also got these, bit these bits here, which are called girders. So the girders are used when you are trying to, um, or not trying, but when you are basically assembling sort of different areas of walls together. So for example, if I just move those out of the way, you'll see in the map, you'll see the girder marked. 
and it will tell you a particular way that something goes around. So here I've got a girder and it will hold two walls together. Okay, so you could do it like that where there wouldn't ordinarily be a wall. Um, on the map, you might try to assemble it uh, and you think, oh, hang on a minute, there's no space for this, this little part here to go in under the bottom. Just spin it round. We've checked to make sure at least one wall has a space underneath. So you put the girder in over the top like that first. So it clips on the top just like a strut. And then underneath, it slots into the little slot that's at the bottom. And that gives you your girder. Then on this side, it's just a case of popping it over. And then that way you've got this area. And you, it's really nice to have a corridor with all this stuff kind of piled down there. So yeah, really simple. Um, that is your girder. Okay. Um, obviously we spoke about the half walls and we spoke about this big wall here as well. <coughs> Um, the next thing then is uh, we're going to make this little thing. This is a ground conduit. Uh, so in order to make this, all we need to do is um, have these parts here. This one has got pipes on the outside. This one is quite blank. The blank bit goes um, is kind of the bit that goes in the middle. So this is going to stand like this. Then <clears throat> on this here, you'll see there's lots of half cuts. And all you're going to do is you're going to very carefully, don't bend it too far, okay, is you're going to just create a kind of a curve like that, okay. Once you've got that curve, you can increase it a little bit, okay, like that. And then you can bend a little bit more, like so, and you can bend it to get that nice little arch, which we've got there, okay. Once you've done that, it's just a case of taking this and making sure these parts here slot directly into this. So I'm going to do that now, just like that, one on one side, and do it this way. I have to do this backwards because uh, for the camera, and one on that side. Give it a little bit of a push down. Lovely, nice and sturdy. Um, uh, and there you go. You can, that is a, a really nice kind of ground conduit. And if you've got a, gra a black graphic marker or a dark gray or a kid's felt tip pen or something like that, you can always just then uh, just it takes literally about five seconds. You can literally gray across the top of there um, and then it will look exactly like that. Brilliant. So there's your ground conduit. Uh, what we've got left on here, we've got another little sign, which is just the same as all the other signs, which I tend to keep in a little baggie like that. Same as all the little struts and things, which is nice and simple. Um, you've then got this little uh, workstation here, this little desk. And what that's going to do, that's going to make this little fella here. Okay, really cool little desk. Um, and this again is really simple uh, to assemble. You've got a couple of half cuts here. Whenever you're bending a, a half cut, make sure you put your fingers behind so that you don't, um, you get the best basically, uh, the best uh, fold without any bends or anything that's particularly, um, you know, uh, wonky or anything like that. Um, and I'm just slotting that into the top. Okay, and you've got two ways you can do it. You can you can turn it over and use the reverse texture. If you've got two of these desks, so you might want one with one texture, one with another. Um, and then two little slots on here, which just line up with that, and you can just push that on, and then you can have it on like that. There it is. You've got this cool little desk, and you can have it angled up a bit or down or whatever it is you want to do. Okay, um, and then um, this this item is not something that you want to take apart again um, um, and neither is this to be fair so if you want to you can add a little bit of glue just in here to make it more stable if you're happy and you're not going to reverse this or do anything with it okay so there's your little uh, table that's really cool what have we got left on here that i haven't showed you um, the only thing i've got left is this little chair here so what i've got here is uh, my little chair and I am going to first, I'm going to pop, and uh, I'm gonna pop, let me show you a little chair. Here's a chair. La. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the seat in first, orange side up, across the back. Okay, like so. And then I'm gonna take this bottom part here, and I'm gonna slot it under there, and I'm gonna push that all the way up. And what I get is a really cool little chair like that. Um, sometimes the slots on these can be a little bit tight, so you can always use a little pair of side cutters to just open a slot out a little bit further, um, and that will make the fit a little bit easier. This one, I've got no problems with whatsoever. So there you go, that's a really nice little cool chair. 
And from this sheet here, we've got this big wide entrance, which is just basically a wall that's twice as long and an extra sign and another girder over here. This is all you need for that sheet there. So with those, those are the two main sheets that cover mostly walls and a couple of little bits of furniture items like these. Okay, so what that leaves after that is this sheet here. This is the one that's got most of your room items and scatter on it. I'm going to assemble a crate first and I'm going to assemble just one crate because the principle for the large and the small crates is exactly the same. Okay, so I'm going to take a large crate for you like this. First and foremost, I'm going to pop the sides of the cargo crate together. Yeah. So, and again, if you've got any slots here that need an adjustment, you can use the little side cutters just to make the fit as, as, as best as possible. So I'm going to pop one in there like that. And then I'm going to come around this side and I'm going to put one in here like so. And then I'm going to come around this side and I'm going to put those in there like so. And that gives me this little kind of solid little shape. Then I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to have it face down and I'm going to pop it inside and I'm going to kind of squash it down and as it gets lower into the box it gets tight until it gets to the bottom on a flat surface okay and then this part here you don't have to have this part here you can then just put that on the top and that's your cargo crate you can place your little item tokens in it okay when you're playing the game and you can tip those out and put them back in now what I like to do with these cargo crates, because you're not going to take them apart, I like to um, secure the lid and I like to glue this bottom base in. It's not necessary, but it is. Um, it just adds a bit of stability. So um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue the base in here at the bottom, and then I'm just going to take this bit here and I'm going to glue it underneath the lid. And what that does, it creates a catch so that when you put your lids on, it can't fall off or tip off. It actually closes like a proper cargo crate, I guess. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and into, uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue to these two items. And I'm just using a really basic liquid super glue. Uh, this is cardboard though, so you can, you can use, you know, whatever you want. Then I'm gonna, while that's drying, um, I'm going to basically pop a little bit of glue on here. You don't need much. Okay, with super glue, it's, it dries really quickly. And this would already have set glued in the bottom as well. Okay, so what I have now is I have a really cool little cargo crate and I can pop the lid on and the lid won't come off. Um, and there you go. And then like some of the other items, if you want to, you can just grab a kid's felt tip pen with a similar colour or graphic marker, uh, and you can find that if you if you actually um, just add a bit of pen colour to the top of it, it really helps to blend in those colours as well. It's uh, it's totally not necessary, but um, it's just really cool. It just you know adds uh, adds to the immersion as it were. So there you go. There's a, a, a cargo crate for you. So. Uh, you'll get eight of those in total, um, as it were. Now, um, next we shall do... Ooh, what should we do next? What should we do next? Loads of cargo crates on there. I'm going to assemble this little locker over here, okay? Um, and again, I've got two little half cuts here. Put in pressure right behind and close to the cut when you bend it, and you'll get a really clean bend, okay? Um, and then I've got the same here, a little half cut there. Whoop. So I'm going to do that. And then all you do then is you will slot these into the top. There's two little areas at the top and you'll slot that in there, one over there and one over there, like so. Uh, I'm doing this backwards so I can't really see it properly. Okay, and once you start to slot it in, you can slowly just like move it up and then where you bent this half cut, you just move that in a little bit and you've got a little locker. If you get a little gap at the bottom like that, all you do is you just you just run the slots back down again a little bit. You just move this, this down here and it closes that gap. And there you have a really cool little locker. Um, and the lockers are connected to the walls 
you can go like that and you can just click it onto there and then you've got this cool little uh, lockup as it were which is really good decoration hmm what else have we got left here shall we do a table okay yeah because we've already done a chair so we, we, we need a table to go with it so uh, first and foremost um, you've got some half cuts in here so I'm going to support the backs and make the bend then when you come round here you'll see that there's two little slots and they require just a little bit of manipulation like that a bit of a bend okay to get them together um, and that creates this little triangular kind of base thing um, and you've then got a tabletop that goes on top and that's it that's all you need uh, what I like to do um, is basically is um, I just like to pop a little bit of glue under here um, and just glue that on there there's two different textures so you can choose a texture um, and, you know and then you've got a table that um, is a little bit more sturdier and you can still flip it up and take cover behind it using the game rules and things like that so that's really cool so that's the little table okay um, what have we got let's do let's do the shop items next we've got a counter and we've got this um, this like area where you can you can buy stuff and display really cool things. Uh, this part first, really simple. Uh, it's just a case of slotting one into the other. Da, 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 da. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Um, and you've got that, and these have got little things which clip onto the bottom of the walls. Can't really see what I'm doing it. There you go. Uh, which allowed them to stand up. And the counter is exactly the same as well. If I put one over here, uh, you can do that with the counter to make the shop counter stand up. Okay, so let's assemble that counter. Um, again, a very simple, just like the other part, you can just pop that on there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then once that's on, you grab this little piece here uh, and you just slot it onto there. And then you've got this really nice little uh, uh, counter there as well uh, and again this you know you don't necessarily need to reverse this so I, I, um, I sometimes glue this top bit on or something like that it's entirely up to you what have we got left because mm -hmm. most of this is cargo crates uh, okay so we have got a bed let's do our bunks uh, okay let's find a bed here's a bed this is our little uh, bunks as it were um, so this has got a it's hard to see, but there's a little bit to push out right on the end here, which adds detail to the kind of um, hand row pushy bit at the top there. Um, and then there's a half cut on the front of this. So support in the back, you do that. Um, and also there's a slot here as well, which sometimes needs pushing out. So I'll just do that, sort of push and pull it out. Um, and then on the bottom, you've got two parts. Okay, so this, you slot together to make the stand like so and then you slot this little bit you had to push out that then slots onto there and that gives you your little bed and this actually a bit like the counters slots into the gas so it doesn't move around it slots into the walls in game you can stand on that jump and do all sorts of crazy stuff oh just a couple of things left now so let's do the computer console uh, this is a wall console, so I'll do that. Uh, this is really simple. This is a two-part. And if you've got the Galactic set, you've already seen um, you know, this little computer console already. It's got a half cut on it. So we're going to give that a little bit of a bend, just a little bit. And then on here, you're, you're, you're basically going to... You'll, you'll notice there's two slots, one here and one here. And you're literally just going to slot this in to this area here. So I'm going to put one on here like so and the other on there and there you go you've got this brilliant little wall console um, and a bit like the girders these slot in both at the top and the bottom so you would slot it in the top first like so and then when you're done it goes to the bottom area here uh, and it slots into the wall that way and that gives you a really sturdy um, uh, wall console it's not going to fly around when you're gaming or anything like that so I'll pop that off Okay, there's your wall console. Um, and then, 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 all we've got left to actually assemble on here is some sign, uh, is, is kind of like a an add sign. You know, these kind of electronic rolling images on them. Um, 
So basically what you've got is uh, you've got this little thing here. Now these, I, I never add any glue to them. I mean, you don't need to add glue to anything really, but I mean, I never add glue to these because these are reversible. You've got two different images, okay? Uh, and you can swap and change those out. Um, so, oops, that goes that way. Um, so all you're gonna do is you're going to basically um, slot one area into here like that. And then you're gonna take the other side and you're gonna slot that area into here like that. And then that gives you your little sign like so. Okay. And again, just like a lot of the other uh, cool little items in the game, you just pop it onto there and you've got your add sign. Okay. Um, and actually there are uh, a couple of other signs still left on here. We've got this little guys here and we've got of course, because it's battle systems, we've got Chug. Uh, future version of Chug as opposed to apocalyptic version. So we've then got um, this one here, which has got the claw store on it. This is a little, uh, like a, a walkway sign, so you can add those into areas like so. Okay. Um, and then um, for the, for this little sign here, this is just um, a, a really cool little sign that we wanted to chuck in at the last minute. If you've got a little bit of blue tack, you can just stick it onto a wall or something like that. I really like to put them on the girders so that they're kind of, um, ex you know, uh, they cover the expanse. So if you've got a girder here, I like to kind of have it on here so it's kind of runs down the center of a of uh, you know um, something cool as it were uh, but um, yeah there you go so that is that um, sheet there all I've got left on here now is the other cargo crates well look that covers everything I showed you how to put all of the little bits and pieces and things that come into the core set we've got loads of cargo crates and tables and signs and girders and everything else um, all you do then it, when you're finished is you literally just assemble the lattice in the bottom of your core space box and then you pack that back into there and we've got an unboxing video that shows you where that is and where everything goes um, if you want to keep things together I like to use um, just some, just a couple of elastic bands I like to keep the walls in a nice block uh, and, and like I say, I like to keep things like doors and windows together just with a little tiny elastic band. These are my kids' loom bands. God, they get everywhere. It's a nightmare. Um, but for once, I thought, hey, this is really good. Um, and, I, and, and a couple of little baggies, and, and you just keep all your bits and pieces together. There you go. Hopefully that was really helpful for assembling all your lovely cardboard goodness for the core space game. Check out our other tutorial videos. We've got plenty of them uh, covering things from core space through to our huge range of terrain that supports the game. Um, that's it. Nothing left to say except happy gaming. <laughs>